say there it's you can go like this you know you can hold it like that if you want okay. using both hands so go like this mm -hmm. there is that better mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you want me to angle away from those, right? If you could. Yeah. Am I coming across okay? Yeah. Do you need to move in? Is it too far? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Yeah. But you'll be kind of in a corner unless I move this way. Oh, there, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my corner of the world. This is Dorothy Biashoni, and I'm enjoying this beautiful expanse of park on a sunny June day. I'd like to spend the next few minutes speaking with you about what is holding you back in your life. What have you got that is resistant to accepting, achieving fulfillment and success? We all know about affirmations, we all know about positive thinking, or at least most of us do. Maybe not all, but most. But my belief, and what I have proven to be true, is that instead of just putting more beliefs in us, on top of what is already there, we need to empty out what is no longer serving us. We need to empty that out first, before we can add positive statements, positive affirmations. So if you were to do an internal, mental, and an emotional check within you, what do you need to flush out of your system? What do you need to empty out first? Is there an old belief, an old limiting, restrictive belief that may have its roots in a religious belief, a cultural belief, a political belief, something you overheard adults talk about when you were a child and you took it on as your personal belief system. If you are not living the life of success that you would have thought you were by now, even if your life is a really awful, or filled with scarcity, but if it's only of a life of mediocrity, then it isn't enough, and yes, you do deserve more. So do that internal check and allow for the answers to come up. Allow for the reasons, the feelings, the thoughts to, to arise, to come up, so that you can actually detoxify, if you will. You want to take a look at where that resistance is. And as I've said before, you need to empty out before you can add more to. If all you're doing is layering, 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 and although it's the right layering, there are affirmations, there are positive thoughts, statements, feelings, those are great, but if they're sitting on top of restrictive thoughts and feelings, negative thoughts and feelings, the positive ones have nowhere to go and consequently will flow out of you. If you're unhappy in any area of your life, be it money, be it with a feeling of integrity, be it in a relationship, marriage, uh, your job or your own business, if it isn't fulfilling you, then there's something wrong. There's something wrong inside that you want to correct you want to move forward with, you want to move out of, so that you are happy, so that you're happy on all levels. Because you know what? Everybody deserves it. Everyone deserves that feeling of harmony and balance and feeling fulfilled and feeling prosperous right on the inside. Because you know what, folks? It really is an inside job. So get to that feeling. Pick one area of your life. Please don't generalize or be global about it. Pick one area of your life that is not fulfilling you now, that you're not happy or content with. Take a look at it. Chances are, high, high chances are, you'll find that it is an old, outdated belief, an old, outdated thought 
that no longer serves you. Give yourself permission to release it over and over and over until you actually feel clear inside. Then you start adding the positive affirmation. So it may sound something like this. I've never believed that I personally could be financially wealthy. I came from parents of either low income or middle income and the best I could strive for is maybe upper middle income. Well, are you happy with that? If you are, good. But if that's not enough for you, how is that belief helping you? And why can't you have a higher income? Why can't you have such an income that you could share and help other people? If it's about love, perhaps you believe that no two people could be happily in love and stay together all their lives. Well, if that's what you believe and it's not bringing you any happiness or contentment, why hold on to it? Discard it. Give yourself permission to discard it and take on a new belief that love is real and really and truly can last a whole lifetime. It shifts and changes and flows, but life, love, integrity, respect, that is lifetime. Those are just a couple of examples. One was money, one was love. There's a million others for sure. Take a look at your life, but pick one area at a time to discard, release, what doesn't serve you and then bring in what would make you happy, what would fulfill you, what would bring you past a life of scarcity or mediocrity to a life of absolute success, prosperity and fulfillment. This is Dorothy Biagioni. I invite you to join me on our next video chat and if you require or desire to have more more of just you and I on a one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's in person or via Skype, I invite you to call me or email me. The numbers are listed above and below. It's Dorothy Biagioni. Thank you.